what's going on guys so before we get into today's video uh, a little frustrated because this weather sucks uh, it's actually supposed to be sun all day welcome to new jersey i guess uh, so that's frustrating i thought you know be a nice day to do this so i might just get poured upon instead so i want to talk about two things today in my video uh for you guys uh with my 15 charger scat pack here um first things first as you could see here give me a second give me a second I only have one headlight again and I actually have several videos on headlights I'll link them below because I did an LED kit I did this I did that um, so I'm just over it uh, so the two things I want to kind of talk about is a, I had the car in for the dealership uh, which is when they told me the headlight was out which I thought was interesting timing um, they went to charge me $125 I was like for for a headlight like we're not talking about like HIDs guys we're talking about projectors so uh, that was pretty crazy to me um, second thing is I just wouldn't waste your money guys I would I tried the LED kit I tried this I tried I, I, I made the real mistake and I got these expensive plugins um, kind of see here they were like 90 bucks and yes it, what it really comes down to for me in that particular situation I was like well if they're expensive they should be good so yeah I know as stupid as that sounds I think I think a lot of us do that. So, you know, lesson learned there. I just went ahead and picked up some Phillips. I think I paid, I don't know, I had to check, 20 bucks ship, maybe less uh, for the car. So, what I'm probably gonna end up doing is I'm probably gonna do what I did with my Mustang, which is in the back here, and I'll kind of show you guys there in a second, is I'm just gonna try to find some factory HIDs for it one day, like, you know, maybe off a of crashed SRT or something. Um, you know, I think all I would need is a harness. That's all I had to do with my car. Because um, I was in the same boat, you know, and my car never had options for HID because it's an 06. It was actually later they offered it with the Bullet Mustang, um, believe it or not. So it's still a factory setup. It's really sweet. The problem is, guys, when you put an HID kit in a projector lens like this, it doesn't, if, I'm pro if I am explaining this properly, it does not um, discharge the light properly because it's not an HID headlight itself. So when you put an HID light bulb in it, you know, it looks all crappy, like, you ever wonder why, like, you know, the, how the Civics look stupid as hell with the eBay kits? Which is the actual lights aren't designed for HIDs, so they blind everyone, they piss off everyone. Versus, like, a car with factory HIDs, they're nice and they're clear and they're, they're just nice. So there's a reason behind that. So, uh, I'm also going to show you guys real quick how to change out the light bulbs. So, you know, how to save yourself some money. I saved myself at least 100 bucks. So, um, I'm going to remove my air filter, which is really embarrassingly dirty and that's the funny thing about doing YouTube you kind of have to show all your flaws in life including this extremely dirty filter which is embarrassing but I'm going to remove that so I can get access um, grab my tools for it I'm going to remove it and then I'm going to show you guys to get into there and change the bulb out guys so just like that let's remove the air box or the Mopar intake and it's off so that was easy guys I just loosened that up I unscrewed that I unplugged this guy and uh, threw it right over there. So, yeah, let's dive into it, guys. All right, guys, so it's actually this cover right here. Right there, you just gotta kinda tug on that. Now, this hopefully won't be too bad for me, because I loosened it before, but to be quite frank with you, um, the first time I did it, man, it was on there, so it did not come off so easily, but there we go. One of the reasons why I don't wanna do the LED kit conversion, guys, is they give you, like, a relay, and you have to put it in there and hook it up and this has to stay off and this is kind of waterproof and a lot of people do it and say it's fine i i just don't trust it and don't want to do it so one of the main reasons why i uh, i don't so let's uh kick this guy out shall we usually uh you twist it to this is my left it should come right out $125. I guess I gotta be certified to do this. I talked all the smack, but I actually needed two hands, so. There's the uh, $90 bulb that uh, didn't last no one near as long as I think it should have, so. Whatever. Let's take this off. So, granted, I'm not certified, so I'm using two hands, guys. We're right there, that little clip, and then do it. Pops right off. There's the difference. There's the difference. So, this stupid guy was like $80. Uh, 
and these are like both like 20 I think at most ships so Amazon I'll look at the level all right guys I just put it in real quick it just goes in just the way it comes out you gotta turn it to the right make sure it's actually like clicking and it's tight moment of truth shall we let's see uh, what does a hundred dollars savings look like guys ah that's what a hundred dollars looks like okay so here's the expensive one that I put in last time got like, I don't know if you guys can see it's got like a slight purple tint in the actual projector itself here very similar looking I can almost god it's I can almost not tell the difference so uh, there's some irony there <laughs> So yeah, so I'm not sure the heck I paid for the other ones, and I hope these actually last. I'm gonna change this out real quick anyway, cause screw it, uh, why not? I'll probably hold on to that one, put it in. I mean, they look identical, so uh, yeah, let's uh, let's do that. I'll show you guys a trick, and some of you might make fun of me, some of you might think it's a terrible idea, but this one was really hard to get off, so I actually put a screwdriver on this little uh, bin, I guess, and pushed down enough to it to. Uh, Came undone. So, a little trick for you guys. So, alright, let's change this out real quick. Alright, guys, everything's put back together, intakes put back on, tightened up the caps on both ends. Um, yeah, so that's it, guys. I saved myself at least a hundred bucks. I learned a lot of lessons here. I'm trying to share it to you guys so you can save money every which way. I wouldn't waste my time on the LEDs, I wouldn't have a dealership do it. So we're done here guys, make sure you hit that like button, comment below if you have any questions or anything like that, I'll see you guys next video, alright peace. Alright guys, so look at my Mustang's lights, I want you guys to see that these are not standard projectors, uh, these are actually factory HIDs from a bullet Mustang, well I think they offered them in like 09 on the GTs at that point, so let's go ahead and turn these bad boys on. Alright guys, so they're on, it's definitely kind of blurring my camera out looks like but if you look at them you can see the way it's projecting onto the lens is really clear because the headlight assembly is actually designed for high intensity discharge headlights so kind of standing back here guys that nice look it's kind of what I'm going to do for the charger I want to get something factory I just don't like yeah, I just don't like the aftermarket stuff, guys. So, that's kind of the, uh, kind of how that looks, so. Alright, on to the next one.